Every year we celebrate the new year. We look forward to new beginning. We listen to the same people. We set the same goals, but it's the same every year. We start off from the same place we were the previous year. So what gives? Why are we no better off than the previous year, aside from being older? I want to share five strategies that has helped me achieve goals that I set for myself. And I hope these strategies can be useful to you in 2024. Um, strategy number one, know your time is your most valuable asset. I think the biggest stumbling block we face is that we don't believe or we don't value our time and don't believe it's valuable. We all heard the cliche. Your time is important, but few of us truly apply that mantra. So often we do not truly understand the value of our time because if we did, we would not waste it on things that are meaningless. The biggest mistake I made in my career was not valuing my time. The more successful I've become, the more I realize how important my time is. People always ask me, how do you run so many different businesses? And the answer is simple. I spend my time on the things I find the most important. The other items I deem not as important, I hire somebody else to do it. Some people go to the laundromat and spend three hours doing laundry. Other people drop the laundry off or get a laundry service because three hours of their time is not the best use of their time. Ask yourself, is doing laundry the best use of my time? If it is, then do the laundry. If it is not, have somebody else do it and use that time to do something else. The time can be used more productively doing something that will increase your wealth and generate more value for yourself. The point is you need to value your time because it is the most valuable asset that you have. Okay, strategy number two, act. This is very simple and straightforward. You dream about being successful, you talk about it, you watch all the YouTube videos, but you fail to do the most important thing, which is act. The most important thing is doing something no matter what. Because sometimes when you fail, it sets the blueprint for the next business venture. My first business was selling hair products online. Did I know what I was doing? No. <laughs> was I successful? No. Looking back, it gave me the inspiration to continue and find other ways to do businesses that led to success. Too many times we fail to pull the trigger on doing something because it's not something we are interested in or it's not the right time or we spend a lot of time doing research on the thing and stay in a state of continuous research. One of Amazon's um, principles is a bias for action. Simply put, do it. Don't spend an excessive amount of time on research because if you fail, it's not the end of the world. In fact, if you do nothing one year later, two year later, you'll still be in that same place doing nothing. So what I wanna tell people is stop waiting for the right opportunity. Please don't tell me it's something you're not interested in. Business is business. If you put enough time, the money will come, the opportunities will come, and you just got to act on it. Okay, strategy number three, be in good company. Surround yourself with successful, ambitious people who are willing to keep it real with you and people who are willing to tell you when you're slacking and not doing what it is you need to do. Having someone who is always trying to elevate themselves will give you the courage to put words into action. Sometimes seeing others making moves is all the motivation you need to start the process. Being successful and ambitious are not mutually exclusive. If you can find a person that has both characteristics, then that's a winner, right? Surround yourselves with these people. But too often we operate in a silo. We have these ideas, we keep them in our heads and we're afraid to speak to our colleagues, our friends, our acquaintances and ask for advice. My, as my husband always says, the closed mouth don't get fed ask for what you want. Okay, my fourth strategy is stop making excuses. When people think about making excuses, they generally think about giving reasons as to why they aren't successful or blaming someone else for something you know that didn't occur. I think quite often than not, we make internal excuses and become complacent with the lack of progress in our lives. We have become accustomed to where we are in life. We see other people's success. We wish we could achieve the same level of success, but then we do nothing and we return back to the norm. To me, that is a form of internal excuses that's worse than blaming other people or situations. It's like taking a train to work every day and hating your commute for 15 years and doing absolutely nothing about it. And rather than change it, you just accept it for what it is. You tell yourself, it is what it is. This is just how life is. False, that is not how life is. We have become the embodiment of excuses where we no longer blame others for our lack of success. We just accept it as part of life which is much worse than blaming someone or something else. Don't make excuses. Just do the thing that you want to do. And if you fail, do it again. 
All right, my fifth strategy, this is my favorite one. Continue learning and educate yourself. Some people associate learning with just sitting in a classroom. With the breadth of information available to us, you don't need an MBA to become successful. The information is there. We all learn in different ways. When I started my trucking company, I did not go to a seminar. I did not go to trucking school. No, I went to YouTube University. I was able to learn as much about the trucking industry from just researching it online. I saw an opportunity and I took advantage of it. To become successful, you have to continue learning. In today's society, you can become whatever you want. You can be as successful as you want to be. It will take time, it will take effort, it won't be easy, but the resources are there. Don't blame lack of success on your lack of education or the lack of time or the lack of motivation because all of that is there and you can get it. So continue to learn and success will follow. Whatever it is you want to do in 2024, get up, act on it now, subscribe to my channel, and we will chat later. Thanks.